There is no charge for awesomeness. G'day gang, last video for day one and we're going to make this a really quick one. I've been talking in pre-season about getting ideas. If you've done that, that's great because tomorrow we're going to start filtering those ideas using the most amazing tool you have ever seen. In fact, it's sort of a shame if you're new because you won't realise how good the tool that we're releasing tomorrow actually is. But nevertheless, um, today is all about formulating and making sure at the end of it we've got five to ten ideas that we're going to test out using this amazing new software to see what we're going to start moving forward with. Now of course if you've got an existing business you're set because you're going to use your existing business as the way to do it but I would still recommend you actually going and having a look through the ideas suggestions that we're going to give you because you never know what periodicals, publications, websites and so on that are actually available in your particular industry because that can be a really really cool thing and we're going to show you a great way for you to be able to track and follow those ideas. So with that let's get cracking. Okay so here we are at Amazon.com and this is one of my favorite spots for getting ideas because it really is um, it's, it's like this huge encyclopedia or a library in fact um, when you look at niches and you know people say to me oh Ed I just don't know what to do um, well here's Amazon is just one of one places in fact I'm just going to show you Amazon but there are so many places we've actually prepared a special report for you which you'll be able to download as part of today's training. You can get that at 30daychallenge.com and you can get that in the training section for day one. So that will give you heaps of ideas. Okay, so where I want to go is I want to actually go in the book section here of Amazon but in particular I want to go to magazines and newspapers. Now, the area of magazine and newspapers that I'm really interested, pardon me, <laughs> excuse me, in receiving is this category section here. Let's have a look here. You can see antiques, arts, for, already you should be starting to see some ideas. But what's amazing about it, let's just pick uh, one, okay, crafts and hobbies. There's some really cool things that Amazon actually does for you automatically, which is really cool. Check this out. Best sellers in crafts and hobby magazines. And you can see there uh, there's Ranger Rick, then Your Big Backyard, National Geographic Magazine, Family Fun, interesting, Wonder Time, Discovery Girls, Artist Magazine, Martha Stewart's Weddings, and so on. Have a look over this side. So would it make sense? Sometimes it would make sense to look at the most popular magazines but for me I'm interested in remember and you'll hear me say this again and again through the challenge if you want to if there are two filters today if you've got like lots of ideas and for goodness sake you could re write 10 down right here you know we could just go from the top dye embroidery fashion flower arranging frame each one of those is a category that is a market for you to attack but we want to if there are two things that I want two filters that I want you to apply at the end of the today to make sure you come up with a list of at least five to ten. One, that the topic interests you. You don't have to be passionate about it, you certainly don't have to be an expert. You just have to be at the very least curious about it, because we're going to be doing a lot of work in the topic, and if you're doing the work in a topic that is not that fascinating to you, it can get hard going. After a while, when you become a real professional at it, you just go through the process. But for now, I really want you to be able to just go point by point through this. And so let's make it. And the other thing with 30 Day Challenge in particular, smaller is better. If this is your first go at the 30 Day Challenge, uh, or first go at internet marketing, you want to take on a tiny little niche to get yourself started. You don't want to take on a big, massive uh project or niche, you know, like weight loss or fitness or big, all those big, big categories. It just You don't want to touch it. It's like going and playing Major League Baseball without knowing how to swing the bat. We want to play Little League first. If you're a bit more experienced, then you can bite off a bit more, but that's where we're at. 
So, I mean, let's, I mean, look at this. And what, what is amazing to me, you know, you look at, um, yeah, this just huge amount. Let's take uh, crochet. I, wonder, I think that's how you pronounce it in the US. But, hello, how many? There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten magazines. And you can see they're either bi monthly, six issues every 12 months, six issues, or quarterly. Now, that's an interesting thing for me because that tells you if it's if it's really popular and issue they'll be monthly because of the economics of the magazine trade uh, this is still boy if if a topic can support all those magazines do you think do you think they're in this for the fun do you think they're in this for the love of crochet they may love crochet but they want to make money selling their magazine and the only way they make money selling magazines and trust this is from somebody who has lost a lot of money doing magazines it's that old joke the uh, great way to make a small fortune have a large fortune and start a magazine but um, here you can see um, you know to support all of these magazines there's got to be a lot of advertising which means that people are spending money in that marketplace and the only reason you would spend money advertising over the long term is if you are indeed making money makes sense right so look I'm not going to go any further with this. This is going to be for you to explore. Just in one category, remember we just clicked on crafts. They're already, I can't even count. Look at all of these. You see how this all works together. Okay, now we are going to take crochet and I want to uh, use that as an example. I've just actually uh, copied that and I want to take you to Google because I'm going to show you something really really cool I'm just going to type in up here into my Google search crochet and I'm going to hit enter and what I want to do is I want to go to news now check this out with crochet first of all interesting look here are all these interesting articles in crochet now see down the bottom here where you can get the latest new on crocheting with Google Alerts you're gonna love this check this out you can create a Google Alert which will notify you at any time a major paper or even a minor paper or a magazine or somebody publishes something about crochet you are gonna be on the cutting edge of crochet because you can have a look at news, blogs, webs, comprehensive, which I would recommend. Comprehensive, you can have it uh, set once a day and you can put in your email and you can create an alert. That's one of the ways to do it. So I've just uh, clicked that. There it is, so there's a, there, that's one way to do it. You can get your email. Oh, let me show you the other way to notice that this news search result is an RSS feed so if we click on that crochet in Google News how cool is this click add to Google Reader and now with all my other interesting cool stuff look at this how good is this Anytime there's a new story anywhere in the world about crochet, I am going to be updated. I am going to be on top, finger on the pulse of the crochet world. How good is that? Now, for you people out there who have an existing business or a product or you're an artist, um, you create pens like Richard Merritt or you, know, you create amazing amps uh, like Gabriel from Gabriel Amplifiers, you want to be able to keep track of your industry. This is how you can keep complete track of your industry and you'll know more than 95% of everybody else and you won't have to stress about doing it. It'll be just delivered as it happens into your Google Reader. It really is quite amazing. Now to make this all a bit tidier, to make this all sort of work better, what I suggest you do is you create a folder and you do that so simply by just putting add to a folder. We type new folder we like to call this new folder crochet action and click OK. 
So now that has been added to a folder, so I can look at it specifically, I can play with it, do all sorts of stuff. How good is that? And so there you have it. Just fantastic. Go through, have a look. Works an absolute treat. And you'll be amazed at how many sources of things have an RSS feed. You always want to keep a lookout for that little orange icon. So here's what I want you to do. Step one, come up with your five to ten market ideas. Step two, I want you to go to Google, click on Google News, type in that market that you want to have a look at, and then take the RSS feed and put it into your Google Reader. And you watch after a couple of days, and we're going to come back to this in a few days, but in a couple of days, all of a sudden, you're going to be right across that particular industry. And remember, if you've got a choice between two ideas, take the smaller one at the moment. Take the smaller one. You will have better results. The, the history has shown with the 30-day challenge that the people who take on the perceived smaller markets are the ones that do much, much better. But we'll talk a lot about that tomorrow. All right, get to it. Wow, day one. Out of the way. Done. See you soon. There is no charge for awesomeness.